Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. So your computer is running slow and you don't know what's wrong with it, it might need to be scanned for malware. So the one that we're going to be showing you how is to pretty much download and install Malware Bytes. Malware Bytes is an excellent program that's used a lot to remove malware on the computers and it helps out the performance on your computer by cleaning up all those unnecessary programs that are sniffing and messing with it. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So first thing is go ahead and open up a browser. You can go to any one you want to. Uh, use Google Chrome. What I'm going to do from the search bar, I'm actually going to type in malwarebytes.com. And this is what you're going to see from their site. It says free download, see pricing. We're going to choose the free download. And it tells us again if you want to get the premium information, stuff like that. It's whichever you choose to do. But we're going to go to the top right because it seems like they try and hide it in a way. You know how that goes on every program. And on the top right, you see where it says free download. Go ahead and click it. And there's the program. Actually, it already came up by default if it doesn't. So here it is. Go ahead and just run the file. And you'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. I'm going to go ahead and exit the browser. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to choose the personal computer. If you choose work computer, it may not even let you. It'll probably just let you get a trial for that time period. And that's probably about it because business, they have a different type of class of installation huts installed. We're going to choose the personal computer layout. And there's probably advanced options. Instead, I'm just going to leave it as is and just press install. For time being, it's going to be installing the program, so I'm going to let it go ahead and do its work. So it seems that more bytes has been installed. Let's see if it doesn't pop up automatically for us. Since the program's already there, let's see if we have a little bit of time is I'm not going to pop up. Doesn't it seems it's still taking a little bit? I'm gonna go ahead and click the program, and it's probably already there because it's, it's on the start button. And there it is coming up, and here we have it. Get started. It tells us if you want to buy now or if you want to activate a license if you have one. I'm gonna press maybe later, and it's gonna probably gonna give it a trial if you want to. I'm gonna press back actually, and I'm gonna choose use the Marble Bytes free. And it tells if you want to put an email for information. I'm actually you don't have to because it's optional. And just press open the Mauer Bytes free. And this is what it looks like. It has changed quite a few times from the layout, and this is what it looks currently right now. And let's go ahead and just run a quick scan on this and see what it does. At that point, pretty much the video is already done of showing you how to install it, but I don't want to see what it finds also for extra for extra checkup on this system. I did make another video on spyware, spy, spyware, spy hunter five, and I said it was finding like lots about 160 detections, and some of the stuff was unnecessary there. If I'm correctly, it was finding stuff like on Firefox, thinking that um, a viewer was a virus, pretty much, and other stuff there. So I'm not pretty much a big fan of it, a spy hunter. But let's see what it finds on malware bytes. found one detection. Let's see what that detection is right now. Oh, I actually select it now. Oh, there it is. It's finding one app data, open candy. Oh, it's BitTorrent. It's not a, it's not technically a virus. It's a BitTorrent. It's giving permissions from temp files. I'll go ahead and put it in Quartine just to show you what it will do if it finds malware bytes. And then it says we're done. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.